A 13-year-old Henderson County student is attacked on her school bus. And tonight, the girl's father is speaking to News 13, demanding action from administrators. News 13's Kimberly King is streaming live from Apple Valley Middle School with tonight's top story. Kim, you have photos that show problems on one particular ride. That's right, Darcel. The girl's father says overcrowding on the school bus is the reason why the bus driver was not able to get to his daughter in time. But administrators here that say that's not necessarily the case. I watched while my child got beat on and nobody was able to do anything. The Father Brian Lane is fed up. These photos were taken of his 13-year-old daughter, Holly, after an Apple Valley ninth grader punched her on school bus 232. Brian saw the bus tape of the event. The bus driver's head came into view, but she couldn't get back there to get to, my child, to, get to Holly. Because students, he says, were in the way. Holly's sister was also on the bus and saw what happened. And then she finally hit my sister, and I couldn't get up to get to my sister because there were kids on the, the floor. She took cell pictures on the bus yesterday. They say overcrowding problems continue. In one of my pictures, you actually saw a girl having to kneel to stay upright. It's unsafe. I've gone to the school five times this year over issues on the bus, over issues with the kids bullying on the bus and getting smacked and hit. We immediately got in contact with our transportation director to go out and and uh, view the videotape. Assistant Superintendent Bill Parker says on the tape they saw empty seats, but there were, I think, two students sitting in the floor of the bus. Administrators say they've addressed students sitting, but these pictures clearly show safety concerns continue. Administrators say bus 232's capacity is 57 students when both middle schoolers and high schoolers are riding the bus. It is close to capacity on a regular basis. If I knew my child was riding on the floor of the bus, I'd be incensed. Administrators are considering splitting the route but weeks have gone by. By coming forward now and showing photos, Brian is certain. We'll see some action now. Brian's daughters tell me the bus driver has even gone to administrators to ask for help, saying that the bus is overcrowded, but the schools uh, so far has said that they're still trying to decide exactly what to do with the route. Reporting live at Apple Valley Middle School, Kimberly King, News 13.